This is Christopher, your South Florida yacht expert. Now, then we move to straight shaft inboard engines. So a stern drive takes a vehicle or a car or truck engine and connects it to a complex drive unit that also steers uh, and maneuvers the boat nicely. A straight shaft inboard engine is one of the oldest and timeless propulsion systems produced. It is a big V8 or much bigger engine in many cases connected to a straight shaft of steel or iron that spins a propeller underneath the boat. However, there are limitations of course, and those limitations are that that propeller does not move. So you have a rudder behind the propeller that turns like this, and of course that cannot provide the same level of maneuverability, steering, handling, that a movable propeller like an outboard or even a stern drive can provide. But there's some advantages to very low mechanical complexity and that the fact that there is no mechanical parts under the water, it's a piece of iron and a brass propeller or a stainless propeller, and it really is a very reliable solution, especially for larger boats and yachts. And that's why those are used, because at a certain point, big yachts are using engines with a thousand plus horsepower, and there is just no outboard engine that can deliver that kind of power. Sometimes they still struggle with corrosion, although at this point, the major manufacturers have really figured out how to protect those engine blocks from corrosion in the saltwater environment. Now, in an attempt to address the limitations of straight shaft inboards, the limited maneuverability, and the somewhat not great efficiency of that propulsion system, Volvo Penta came out with what's called a pod drive. A pod drive also uses a big truck or gasoline powered engine. They really own the IPS pod market in yachts in the United States. And there's a couple advantages to this pod system. So a pod system comes directly down from the bottom of the boat. You're typically gonna have at least two on a yacht. And what's different is every other propeller faces backwards. A IPS pod system, the propellers face forward. So that means they get clean water flow directly onto the propellers and those propellers rotate and they can rotate independently. So they're very efficient, typically 10 to 30% more fuel efficient than a straight shaft inboard engine. They also provide a nice smooth ride and smooth performance and they're excellent for people who are running their own boats or any captain running a boat because they offer excellent low speed maneuverability. Volvo IPS pods are typically connected to a computerized joystick system. So that you just rotate that joystick, those, the computer controls those pods, forward reversing, pivoting, and you have excellent, easy low speed maneuverability. The offset with pods is number one, you have significantly more mechanical complexity. So you have a big gearbox and drive system that extends underneath the boat into the salt water. And because it comes straight down from the boat, it also has a deeper draft. And it's a deeper draft, propellers facing forward, it is more vulnerable to damage. So if you hit the bottom with an outboard or a straight shaft inboard, unless you're going really fast, you're probably gonna be okay. But if you hit the bottom or debris or something under the water with a pod system, you're gonna have some serious damage. And those pod systems are actually designed to shear off and seal up so that the integrity of the hull of the boat will not be affected. And that pod just sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Um, so it's expensive. It's pretty much going to be useless after that has happened, but your boat won't sink. It'll seal up and you'll be safe. Um, I have known captains who have lost the pod and they didn't even feel it. Thing just popped right off, sealed up, and they kept driving. Um, but a pod system, the trade-off, you get tremendous, you get better efficiency, easy low speed maneuverability, easy, excellent high speed maneuverability because those propellers are turning, like very sophisticated. They also have that counter rotating propeller that we talked about. So Volvo IPS pods have two propellers. 
offsetting the torque and giving excellent grip on the water both at speed and low speed. Trade-off, greater complexity, more vulnerable to damage. Whichever marine propulsion system you have on your boat, you want to maintain it properly. One little tip I like is I like to use high performance synthetic lubricants. Now, of course, you can't go wrong with the manufacturer recommended, the manufacturer branded gear oils and motor oils in your product, of course. But I use a company, I have no affiliation with them. There's a company called Redline Oil that produces ultra high performance synthetic lubricants, motor oils, gear lubricants, everything you need for just about every marine engine on the market. You can give them a call, they'll, they'll help you select the products. But I'm a big fan. They work very well, even with a little bit of water contamination, and they really, really protect both your gearing and the internals of your internal combustion engine. The other thing that applies also to any of these marine propulsion systems is you can often dramatically improve the performance of your boat, especially the way you like to use your boat, by optimizing the propellers. So here's a video about that. We'll put a link to that at the end of this video. But whether you run outboards, stern drives, inboards, pods, surface drives, modifying and optimizing the propeller for your specific application and the way you like to use your boat can make a really big difference in maneuverability, efficiency, speed, whatever you want to optimize. So my name is Christopher. I'm your South Florida Yacht Expert. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you.